A guitar purchase is really special for me. It brings out different emotions and, and attitudes and inspiration. You know, and at that moment, that guitar instantly becomes a, a part of me and almost like an, an extension of, of all my senses. I like to look at it as like uh, colors when you're a painter. Every color kind of attracts a different emotion, makes you feel something a little different. And when it comes to the guitar, every one of them makes you feel something different. You pick one up and there's a reason why you wrote the song with that guitar. There's a reason why you played that way on that guitar. Um, it's like you don't have a choice sometimes. The guitar kind of, instead of just becoming an instrument, it becomes your partner when you're writing music. And the right guitar with the right player creates something that hopefully no one has ever heard before in the best possible way. What's up, everybody? It's Paul Phillips here from Puddle of Mud and Rev Theory. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about inspiration. Inspiration can strike at any time. You never know, it comes in all forms, but the great thing about music is that it can also inspire the listener. But one thing about music that's unique to other art forms is just your instrument itself it can be inspiring, whether it's a new guitar, a new bass, a new drum set, just picking it up sometimes can inspire you and bring something great out of you. But right now, my inspiration is Diamond DBZ. This is the Maverick model. I highly recommend it, it's good stuff, check it out, and uh, just do something great today. The DBZ guitar for me is, well, has always been kind of like a, the, the great song, right? It's Every great song has a great chorus, great hook, great melodies, um, the verse, the bridge. So the DBZ guitar has the basics of every other guitar out there, like every great song, but it's that great single that you wish you wrote. They took what people were doing and they made it better. They took the best parts of guitars that were out and they said, we're going to even push it farther. What first drew me to Diamond Guitars is their design. They're unique and edgy, but at the same time, like, very approachable. They, they play beautifully, uh, they respond flawlessly, and uh, <laughs> they just freaking sound awesome, man. For me, the big guitar that stood out instantly was the Imperial with the Bigsby. Um, the body is simultaneously familiar and unfamiliar. For me, playing on stage, that guitar makes me feel unique. It's not the guitar that I see in everybody's hand, and I wish they had it, and at the same time I'm happy that they don't. But it's lightweight, yet it's got this big tone to it doesn't feel like a toy, it feels like a professional instrument. And what DBZ has done with the guitar is they have made an incredible guitar at one third the price that everybody else is making um, and it looks like it costs five times as much as everybody else's. 